Hi folks, welcome back. This is a quick uh, overview slash unboxing of the Banana Pi M2 Ultra. It's a development board for open source projects and IoT. You can build a NAS server or Samba server with it. And it's based on Allwinner Quad Core R40 processor. And it supports Ubuntu Linux, Debian Linux, also Android. And it's a 64 and also a 32 bit processor. So it's really nice. This is the box. Let's, let's do a quick unboxing. I'll show you how it looks like and also show you other accessories. So let's do a quick zoom inside. Okay, here you can see the processor A40. I think that's the EMC. Okay, I'm not sure, but I think it's the EMC. Yes, that's the flash. You have uh, two chips here for the memory and additional two chips here on the back. So basically you have two GB of RAM in total. So that's the memory you have, two GB of RAM. And you have also the serial interface here, U-boot button here, so you can select if you want to boot from the micro SD card slot socket, where the uh, system files are uh, copied on a micro SD card, or you can want you want to load it from the EMMC storage, so you have this button here. Here you have an external display interface and this is for the camera also. It has an HDMI interface, this is the OTG here. And here you have the SATA interface, so you can connect it to an external hard drive, such as an SSD drive. And also you have the power for the SATA here, okay, here on the side also. You also have two USB interfaces here, an Ethernet LAN also, an analog audio interface jack here, an IR receiver here, located here on the side, a built-in microphone here also, this one. This is the power management chip here, this small one. And it has also a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi support, also this chip here. GPIO interface here also. And also in the side you can see you have the power connector here. It uses a 5 volts, uh, 2 amps power supply unit, you need to buy it. And here you have the power and the reset buttons here on the side also. Also, you have an option to connect it to an external antenna. You have a nice socket here. So, there's, there's an option for external antenna. And switching to the back, you have an external battery interface here, backup battery. And you have two chips for the memory. Like I said, you have 2 GB of RAM in total. And that's the micro SD card slot here. You can see from the side. So you, you have both a EMMC option and also a micro SD card option to load the operating system, the images. So pretty nice board. Let's go to the other options, other accessories you can buy for this board. First you also have an option to buy heat sink. You have basically two types of heat sinks. One for the processor, this square one. Of course you have a ceramic type of uh, pad sticker here. So that goes to the processor. And the second type you have for the memory chip here. You have also a pad here. And you can see it's kind of longer. So that's for the memory chip, I think. So you have two types here. Basically, you can buy and other option connecting an external hard drive. You can use 
an SSD drive. You need to buy a special cable for it. Also a few dollars, not so expensive. You have one side for the power, the other for the SATA interface. So this is a basically a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. You just connect it to the board this way, here, and the power goes here. So you can basically build a server with this configuration. So pretty nice board. And it supports Ubuntu Linux, Debian Linux, and other distributions also, like I said. So I hope you enjoyed my quick overview of the Banana Pi MT Ultra. Thanks for watching and bye.